It's that time of year. It's cold, snowing, ice, chilly time. It's time to do y'all big one and like, comment, subscribe, and share. We're going to start this recipe off with a bang. First key to good chili. Use flavorful ingredients. So I'm using some Italian sweet sausage and I'm also using andouille. You can use kielbasa, you can use beef, chicken, you can even use sweet potatoes that you just cube up. Just be mindful, if you don't use a pre-flavored meat, then you're going to have to add a lot more seasoning and salt than you'll see me do. So first you're going to want to brown off whatever your ground meat is. You see me using my little handy dander grinder. And then I chopped up my kielbasa. And then I'm going to go back in uh, with my meat breaker upper. That's definitely scientific. And I'm going to break it down some more because I want all my meat to be nice bite-sized pieces that fit on a spoon. So this is my preference, but you can make it as chunky or as fine as you like and the preference for your family. And we're just going to keep on dumping ingredients until we're done. So now I'm going to chop up an onion. And I'm going to make it pretty chunky because I know it's going to cook down. But again, you can make it finer if you prefer a finer finished product as far as your onions are concerned. And I know a lot of people don't like pieces of onion. That is your preference. I enjoy a more chunky chili. So I'm going to go ahead and make mine, you know, pretty rough chop. Now I have my pan on medium. And each time I add an ingredient, I'm just going to mix it in. Make sure I'm scrubbing the bottom real good so we don't have anything sticking and burning. And I'll continue on adding each ingredient. After each ingredient, you're going to just mix it. You know, I do not do garlic. So I use this frozen garlic. Um, and I found it miss hit or miss in some stores. But you can, you know, grind up your own garlic. Use fresh garlic, garlic paste. I do not suggest garlic. You might as well just use uh, garlic powder if that's all you have on hand. It's going to get totally lost in this and waste of time. I'm not adding any bell peppers because I grow peppers, you know, in the, in the summertime. So I had some frozen poblano peppers that I had sliced up and saved for occasions like this. But definitely you can add whatever your favorite bell pepper is or cubano pepper, you, whatever pepper you like. And if you want to add heat, like a jalapeno or habanero, you can also add that to step. All right, now we're back at my favorite mantra, add flavorful ingredients so you can build a flavor profile. I'm using Rotel Mexican style. They also offer it in different heat levels to your preference. This allows you to easily build flavor in your recipes just through your ingredients. Just use better ingredients, more flavorful ingredients. But keep in mind, you won't see me use salt because I have so many flavored ingredients. Chili seasoning basics is really cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, and a chili powder. Now I have some specialty chili powders because I like to cook a lot of Mexican foods. So you're going to see me use chipotle powder and also I have an ancho powder. I'll put some links below, um, especially for the ancho powder, something I use in my birria tacos when I make them. I'm also going to add some smoked paprika. You don't have to do that if you don't have it on hand. I enjoy it. And, you know, the chili powders do bring a smokiness to it. So, um, but again, it, this is an optional thing and you customize it to how you would like it. Um, now, quick tip. If you don't have all these seasonings on hand, you can always add the chili seasoning powder packs. They have them in the seasoning aisles. And that way you don't have to go buy a whole bunch of seasonings. But I like to customize everything I cook. Now we're going to put like a good tablespoon, two tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. Tomato paste is going to give some richness to your chili. Here's another key ingredient. Flavorful ingredients, chili beans with chili sauce. That will also add a lot of flavor. I'm using a pinto version, and I believe a kidney bean version, but you can pick whatever one, whatever beans that you enjoy. I also put corn in mine for a little bit of sweetness, and I keep the juice in the can because you're going to see I'm not going to add broth. I like it chunkier, and then I'm just going to take some of the juices that are cooking down to really create my sauce and my chili. I also like black beans in my chili, but I do drain those because I don't particularly like um, the sauce that's in the in the can. It's just a weird texture and I just don't like it. So I rinse my beans first. Lastly is another key ingredient, Italian herbs better than bouillon. 
It's really great, super flavorful. It's gonna give it just that little something something. Now you're gonna wanna put a top on it and then stir it here and there, but when you stir, make sure you're scraping the bottom so you're fully incorporating everything in the pan and then you cook it until your beans are done. And the final secret to chili, it always tastes better the next day. Cook it ahead and let those flavors meld and incorporate. See you soon.